<laughs> Welcome back to Bob Free. Yeah. Devo, Tammy, Sitter with you. The Leafs are through to the second round for the first time in 19 years. Game one against Florida at Scotiabank tomorrow night. There was a couple things we wanted to kind of put on the table here in terms of viral moments that mm -hmm. we thought you should see. Again, uh, uh, I love Steve Dangle. Steve Dangle of Sportsnet is the most famous Leaf fan arguably in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. He watches the games live on YouTube. You can watch him watch the games. So I was curious what his reaction was when one John Tavares scored the game-winning goal. Here it is. Oh, it goes in! It goes in! They've done it! The Leafs have finally done it! For the first time since 2004, the Leafs advance to the second round! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> it's the laugh. Oh. The evil laugh in the middle. Well, keep this audio going. Go ahead. Yeah! Yeah! You got a bunch of points of celebration. One for the goal scorer. Come on! The goal tender. Samson on additions, but John Tavares, the captain, keeps that play alive. Yeah, that sums it up. That sums it up. That's entire Leafs Nation right there. That's everybody. That's that's everybody. Yeah. Was that going on in your houses? Like when you, no, when you I, saw that? Was that? I stopped being a Leaf fan a long time. When I started working in sports, oddly enough, is when I kind of, I'm, I'm an intense observer. I'm not a Leaf fan. That was that was not for me. Saturday was not for me. Oh, it was like that in my place. Was that yeah. like at yeah, your yeah, place? Yeah. My one friend, Noel, he's, he grew up in Chatham, so he doesn't he use like the Flames and he likes the Red Wings and whatever. He doesn't like Leaf. So I was just like, dude, move out. Like, get out of my way. And my buddy Amit and I, I'm like, yeah, because they didn't realize it went in at first, right? It took them a second. I was on it right away. So I'm already yelling and screaming. And, and yeah, that was my reaction because, look, when you watch a, a squad for that long to see that, it's just like, and then you're like disbelief. You're like, wait, did it happen? Did it? Yeah. Do we have imposter syndrome? Like, do we belong here? We belong here. We do. Yeah. So, uh, but again, you can't take Florida lightly, right? So. No, listen, again, everyone feels good going into round two. Mm -hmm. Everyone just won something going into round two. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm happy everyone got to watch it, because if you were in Durham region, <laughs> there, was a, there was a chance at some point where you thought to yourself, is the power or the lights going to be on here? Because they were planning <laughs> on a, a, a power outage in Durham region between 11 p.m. Saturday night into 7 a.m. the next morning. But they sent out a tweet. This is one of the funniest tweets I've ever seen. Saturday night is important for the Maple Leafs. If the game approaches 11 p.m., we'll delay the start of the outage. Hashtag Leafs forever. AKA you know, our employees are watching the game. Yes. And will not be doing any work until the game is over. That's, that too. Right? Exactly. That's yeah. the most Canadian thing I've ever seen. Like that is beautiful. This is let's let's delay this work so that everyone can enjoy this mm -hmm. game. I well, love it. And, but I think it also is the, the people who are responsible for shutting it down Saturday night. Yeah. Well, let's to your point, will blatantly not do their jobs. No. no. If this game is still happening. So nothing but respect to Durham region. They have a clue. They figured it out. Priorities. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Good stuff, Hydro One. You imagine. Yeah. Oh, my. No. But I you can't. imagine you're the person and that's your job and you have to shut down the power and the game has just gone into overtime. Mm, mm, mm. No, there's no chance. No. Can't do I would, it. I wouldn't do it. I'd be the fire most insubordinate person you've ever I'd seen. I'd say fire me. In yeah. That, in that, you will have yeah. to fire me. Yeah. And then I will be a hero online <laughs> to millions of people. And be hired by many other companies. Or at least 15,000. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, we have plenty more viral mm -hmm. stuff uh, coming your way as the morning progresses. And also, listen, the Edmonton Oilers, they won a pretty big game Saturday Ooh, night in that L.A. Was... The Oilers get Vegas. Sweet. So the Leafs start their series one last time. The Leafs start their series tomorrow night at home against Florida, 7 o'clock on Sportsnet. They're going to go Tuesday, Thursday to start that series. The Oilers in Vegas will go Wednesday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Don't have a time yet on game one for the Oilers on Wednesday, but the Oilers are still, to me, that's the best team in the playoffs. They have what it takes. They have two guys who are pretty good. Uh, and dry side with David. So, so what you're saying is if things work out, don't do it, it could be. What no, do you mean don't do I, it? What are you doing? What do you mean don't do it? This would be cool. If this would be amazing. What are you doing? This would be amazing. On one side of the bracket is a Canadian team. On the other side of the bracket is a Canadian team. Do, 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 boop. Just saying. Janine. It's possible. Clip that. Clip that. 
and we'll use it down the line when the Oilers and the Leafs are in the Stanley Cup yes. Finals. Yes. And all heck breaks loose. Yes. Uh, we're just we're going to be on this. By the way, like this is a major story in the city. In case there's any confusion, we're talking Leafs a lot while they're in it. Just so you know.